How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now I know I am a couple of days late, but the warning put out a live performance of Hell You Call A Dream, one of their latest singles off of Keep Me Fed. Uh, and I am hyped. I want to jump in. I was waiting for them to drop a live performance that wasn't a fan filmed performance. Uh, this is an official live performance, so I'm curious and hyped. But I'm curious to see how different it is from the studio version because a lot of their live performances, in terms of like production and mixing, some of them are just elevated in a live setting, you know what I mean? Like her voice, Danny's voice, and the riffage and tone of the drums and guitar is just, and the bass, uh, is just like extra. There's something in, in there that makes the live version extra. So I'm curious to see if Hell You Call a Dream keeps that pattern going forward. Let's dive in. that I'm waiting for. Colliding every time. I feel like her voice is like just fucking sores when it's live. Come on, Danny. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, <laughs> that was awesome. But like, like I said, the, the guitar tone was very different from what the studio version is. These are nitpicky things. Like, this, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing bad about it. These are nitpicky things that my ear just picks up on whenever I listen to, like, a band in the studio versus live. You know, there are, like, certain differences, whether it's layered guitars, a different preset, different pedals, whatever it is, there's a, there is a difference, right? And... It sounds meatier. That's not. Uh, it's not necessarily a criticism. Maybe it is, but like it sounds meatier. Life. Maybe it's because she's splitting it and giving us that you know that sort of uh, parallel kind of tone. But it sounds meatier. Life. It's it's a great tone it, because it's a great riff and the song is too fucking short. And I know. Play it again. Yes, but you know what I mean. Anyway. That was Hell You Call a Dream live. That was awesome. I loved, I loved the, 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 the high, the high, what she did with the high vocals. That was 
awesome because that was one of my favorite parts of the song and for her to actually do that live great i was kind of expecting the uh the backup the woes to be re like recorded i thought power would be doing it live but well it's pre-recorded it's fine um but yeah man that's the only criticism i have of the song is it's too short <laughs> otherwise the song is a banger um but yeah that was hell you call a dream i cannot wait for that album dude scared the shit out of me millie just saw her pass by in the background and that scared the shit out of me anyway that's gonna do it for me y'all take care i will catch you in the next one comment down below if you're excited for keep me fed the album drops later this year uh and you best believe i am going to be on it but uh that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching everybody drop a like if you enjoyed this reaction subscribe if you haven't already i will catch you in the next one take care oh, bye bye